Yeah, the fanatic. But we keep it 100, keep it real. That's the only way we know how to be. Talking that sports talk. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of South Carolina. Upstate, oh, yeah. it's yeah. yeah, the F A N A T T I C C. The fanatic where we keep it OG. We talking sports, so I call what I see. Welcome into the fanatic, a sports show for sports fans by sports fans. It's your boy, Coach I. All right, you know I got the stat guy with me. What's going on, stat guy? Hey, Coach, how you doing tonight? Hey, man, you know, chilling, chilling, man. It is a big day today. We're recording this on Sunday, October the 16th, my nephew's birthday, Maceo Bennett Jr., you know, number one wide receiver in the class of 2024 for the state of South Carolina, committed today to the University of Tennessee. Congrats to my nephew, man. We had a good time today. Super proud of him, man. Hey, hey, to culminate a good college football weekend, man. Now we're here to do a preview Big 12 TCU Horn Frog, Horned Frogs against the K State. That is a K up there, people. I know the font looks crazy, but that is a K up there, K State Wildcats, man. How are you uh, feeling about this matchup so far? It's going to be, I think it's going to be a good game. Um, you know, the Big 12 has been wide open this year. Um, but dang, doesn't TCU look good these last couple of weeks? Even when Oklahoma State had them on the ropes um, last night or yesterday afternoon, man, they just didn't go away. Hung around, got the game into overtime, and then um, came away with the win. So TCU definitely shocking heads, and they're a team that you just can't put them away. They just battle. Um, and then obviously Kansas State with the style of football they play, they play better, probably some of the best defense in the Big 12. Um, and yeah. then – bit different they don't really air it out as much they kind of ground ground games out on the ground so yeah man and then k-state had the uh weekend off so they're a one loss big 12 team going against tcu horn frogs who are undefeated so this is uh, again one of those big 12 matchups seem like every week man we're getting a big 12 matchup that's going to mean a lot for for who uh to figure out who's going to be playing in that big 12 championship especially since they do that round robin man um, like you said, TCU did get that huge win over Oklahoma State. We watched that game, man. We thought Oklahoma State had it in the bag, but TCU just they have a they have enough offense to go around. You know what I'm saying? And that's saying something considering uh Oklahoma State can score whenever they want to almost. You know, it was a high flying game, 43 to 40. Uh didn't disappoint. Traditional it's like old school Big 12 where there wasn't a lot of defense, but uh TCU got it done, man. So I mean, let's talk about that uh that uh, K State offense, man. You know they've had a they've had a week to rest. Uh, you know we got Deuce Vaughn and Adrian Martinez heading up that that uh, potent run game. You know what I'm saying potent, very potent. Deuce leading the charge um, in yardage, rush yardage, but and then with uh, Adrian Martinez second, <laughs> but Adrian Martinez is leading the charge with uh, touchdowns nine to three over Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, no, he definitely calls his own number in the red zone um, and isn't afraid of it. Um, but, yeah, the, you mentioned it's going to be the run game. I mean, when you talk about total offense, they're averaging almost 29 a game. TCU is giving up about 27 a game, so that's kind of a wash. But on the ground, they're averaging almost 250 a game, and TCU's only giving up 135. So that's a big difference for somebody to make up ground or lose ground. Um, as far as the passing – Kansas State, you know, being a Big 12 team, they only pass for 160 a game. Um, they are definitely run heavy. They take advantage of the passing game when need be, but they primarily like to grind that thing out on the ground. Um, and TCU's given up 204 yards a game through the air. Um, so maybe they're able to take a little bit more advantage of that, hit another play here or there in the passing game. They normally don't. Um, but I fully expect this to be a battle of can TCU stop um, the – tandem of Deuce Vaughn and Adrian Martinez, or do they stand tall? And if they stand tall and shut down this potent running attack, Kansas State could be in a world of hurt. Yeah, that, that's right. And um, TCU, you know, they uh, they got three guys that's over 30 tackles for the year uh, per person. It's Johnny Hodges, Mark Perry, and uh, Jamoy Hodge. If Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, TCU fans, correct me if I'm wrong, but all of them got over 30 tackles, so it's almost like a yeah, you know, of course, it's a defense by committee. No no really one guy stands out. D. Winters also has 29 tackles. But like you say, Deuce Vaughn is a, a different kind of animal. You know what I'm saying? That that uh, we all knew what he was coming into the year. But 
earlier in the year, Tulane was able to keep Deuce Vaughn under wraps. Can TCU sell out to kind of, you know, if I was the defensive coordinator for TCU, I'm selling out to kind of stop the run and make it Adrian Martinez beat me through there. What you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think that's what you have to do. I mean, he's had some huge games um, where, I mean, pretty much single-handedly wins them for him because of his running. And so if TCU can stuff him, um, you know, I mean, we've seen Adrian Martinez. He's been a while around a long time, um, Nebraska previously. And, you know, he's somebody that we've kind of always thought you make him beat you with his arm, not his legs. And so if they can shut down Deuce, keep containment on the outside, not let Adrian take off and do something crazy. Um, I think if they can force him to beat him with their arm, they're in really good shape. Yeah, now on the other side of the ball, man, TCU, we just talked about it, man. TCU <laughs> TCU got enough offense for the whole Big 12 to go around. You know what I'm saying? Max Duggins leading the way, man. Uh, Dugans, Duggins, is it Dugans or Duggins? Dugan, I believe Dugans. it's Duggins. Like okay, Dugans. Either way, dude is balling. You know what I'm saying? Um He's a big dude too, man. Like, you know, he ain't no little dude and he be toting that tater. <laughs> so him and uh, you got Quentin Johnston who uh, is leading the charge at receiving. He's all, he's halfway to his to the to the thousand yard mark, halfway through the season, halfway to the thousand yard mark. Look like he's going to be able to hit that. And then you got uh, Kendra Miller, who is all already, uh, you know, what I'm saying 578 rushing yards for the season. So uh, K-State, that K-State defense got a uh, got their hands full coming this Saturday. Yeah, and, you know, honestly, Kansas State might be the best defensive team in the Big 12. They're only giving up 16 points a game. They only give up about 220 through the air, only about 130 on the ground. Um, so you're looking at them only giving up about 350 a game. Whereas something's definitely got to give because TCU's averaging almost 550 a game. They're at 300 yards through the air. They're almost at another 250 on the ground. That offense is just explosive. And so we're going to see. This is, is, this it, side is of the this ball. TCU's offense is just fun to watch. <laughs> right. And this, this side of the ball is going to be where it's won or lost for Kansas. I know we talked Kansas State. I know we talked about um, them running the ball offensively as well, but – their defense is either going to win them the game or lose them the game. Um, yeah. That's just what it's going to be. If they're able to stifle TCU a little bit, they're going to hang around. If TCU does what Sonny Dykes has had them doing, it's going to be a long day and a long yeah. trip back to Atten. And one of the guys leading the charge on that K-State defense, Kobe Savage, man. Kobe Savage is second on the team in tackles. He's one of three guys that have uh, two – interceptions on the season they have nine total as a defense so you could say they're kind of opportunistic back there so who knows maybe they can turn max over you know um when he's throwing the ball and like you say i think kansas state if i had to pick the team that's the best defensive team total like overall i would say it's kansas state i think west virginia has a good front four i think uh, oklahoma state's front four isn't bad texas has some you know decent defensive uh athletes but i think overall if you if i had to pick one i'd go with k-state so i mean with that said man let's roll into these predictions what is the spread and the over under on this game so tcu is favored by five um and the over under is 59 and a half which seems very low for any time two big 12 teams are playing um, so 59 and a half for the over under and TCU's favored by five. Um, one thing about this game, Kansas State does lead the all-time series eight games to seven. Um, and they have won um, in Fort Worth three times. So they have okay. been to you and picked up three wins on the road already. So it's not a place where they haven't won before. Um, it's something they've done before and could potentially do again. Okay. Okay. Five ain't bad. You get three for being at home when you're doing Vegas sides. <sighs> Five points, five points. Uh, I'm going to let you tackle this one first. So, first, apologies to all of our Horn Frog friends out there. Um, I went with Okie State. They were my fourth team to make it to the playoffs from back in March. I, I thought this was the year that Mike Gundy was going to get them over the hump, and TCU said, no, sir. Um, so, apologies to y'all. A lot of y'all called it. It was going to be high scoring. Y'all said y'all would hang, not only hang with them, but put it on them. And y'all definitely did this, that. So in honor of that, I am going to go with TCU this week. Um, and I don't think Kansas State's defense is going to be able to slow down this potent offense. I'm actually taking TCU big, um, 45 to 28. 
Ah, I like TCU in this one. One for one reason, because I, I want to see a Big 12 team go undefeated. So at this point, I got, like, listen, TCU, and TCU got an offense to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a defense, you know, it's a work in progress. But uh, I think it's going to be a little bit lower scoring, only because I do feel like K-State will be able to run the ball. Um, I feel like K-State will be able to run the ball, which is going to limit some of the possessions. Not that it matters, you know, because TCU kind of makes the most of every possession they get. But they won't have as many. So uh, you, you went 45-28. Third. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go 32 to 28. 32, 28. 32 in a shocker, shockingly close game. 32, 28. TCU, but K State covers the five points. How about that? Take that. Trying to figure <laughs> out how they're getting the 32 in your mind, man. That's something's wild. Something wild's gonna happen. Some craziness, dog, like a, a miss a missed extra point or something. I don't know. <laughs> so um let's see, let's see. Let's see, how can they get there? Let's see, 32. Hey, six field goals, two touchdowns, baby. Hey, maybe four touchdowns. <laughs> no, not six. My bad. Six two, 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 hold on. Six field goals. That's 18 right there. Yeah, two touchdowns. Four to 18, 14, baby. Maybe um maybe they just score four touchdowns and Sonny Dyke rolls the dice every time and they just go for two like they're playing NCAA. Like and they she'll... play. <laughs> Who knows, man? There you have it, TCU. Go ahead. It is the Big Twelve after all? That would not shock me. Hey, it is. Uh, what time is this game? Um, so this game's kicking off at eight p.m. Um, this is going to be a nightcap. So a great game to end what we're thinking is going to be another amazing week of college football. That's right, and I have my uh, adult beverages with me. So, hey, who knows what's gonna go on in the Big Twelve, man? I think all I do know is I think TCU coming away with the win. How about that? Uh, TCU fans, K State fans, man, get in the comments. Let us know what you think the score is gonna be and what you think the keys to the game will be for the stat guy. This is Coach I, the fan addict. Yeah. We got it jumping like it's that valley. Yeah. I call yeah. my dogs out the pound. Let's go eat. Turn on the fan at it. Yeah. Let's have a debate. Yeah. Who really hold down the southeast from state to state? What team hungry gonna eat everything up off they plate?